Patients with decompensated cirrhosis are highly susceptible to infection, causing renal failure and death. Preclinical studies demonstrate an anti-inflammatory effect of albumin in cirrhosis. International guidelines recommend human albumin solution after large-volume paracentesis for spontaneous bacterial peritonitis and hepatorenal syndrome, but clinical trials of albumin have had conflicting results. In this multicenter randomized open-label trial, 777 patients hospitalized with decompensated cirrhosis and a serum albumin level of less than 30 grams per liter were randomized to receive either human albumin solution targeted to an albumin level of 30 grams per liter or higher, or to standard care. The primary endpoint was a composite of infection, renal dysfunction, and death between days 3 and 15 of hospitalization. During the trial, the adjusted mean difference between groups in the amount of albumin administered per patient was 143 grams, and the mean albumin level in the targeted albumin group was 30 grams per liter or higher between days 3 and 15. The primary endpoint occurred in 29.7% of the patients in the targeted albumin group and in 30.2% of those in the standard care group, with no significant difference observed between the groups. For secondary outcomes, which included 28-day, 3-month, and 6-month mortality, there were no differences observed between the groups. There were 87 serious adverse events in the targeted albumin group as compared with 72 in the standard care group. The authors conclude that they did not demonstrate a benefit of albumin infusions to raise the albumin level to a target of at least 30 grams per liter over standard care for patients hospitalized with decompensated cirrhosis. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.